Hi everyone, this is your video for Wednesday, May 6th. And that means that it's show and tell day. So today for show and tell, I want you to show me your favorite food, okay? Your favorite thing that you like to eat, okay? Have your mom take a picture of you and send it to me or your dad. I'm excited to see. All right. I'm going to read you a story today, and it's one of my favorite stories. And I'm going to show you the pages because it has really fun pictures. So you won't see my face when I'm reading it to you. But this book is called The Last Day of Kindergarten. Look at this little girl. She's so happy because she's graduating kindergarten. All right. The last day of kindergarten. Today is the last day of kindergarten. I wish it were the first. Then I'd meet Mrs. Popinski all over again. I'd hang my very own backpack on my very own hook and my markers would be bright and inky. My crayons would be pointy and new. If it were the first day of kindergarten, I'd have so much to look forward to this year. I'd play house or grocery store during creative playtime. I'd dress up as a tiger for the Halloween parade. I'd lose my first tooth biting into Sammy McGregor's birthday cupcakes. Some of you lost your first tooth this year too. But today is the last day of kindergarten. We don't read stories. We don't work on our numbers or letters. Instead, we wash the tables. We take our pictures off the walls and we throw out the stubbiest crayons and dried up paints. Mrs. Popinski gathers us into a circle for sharing time. It's the last time we'll ever sit crisscross applesauce together. I am so proud of all of you, Mrs. Popinski says. You've learned so much this year, but kindergarten is ending. Summer is beginning. What are your favorite things about summer? Staying up late, swimming, picnics in the park, running through the sprinkler, eating blue raspberry ice pops on the front steps. Let's talk about first grade, Mrs. Pukpinski says. What are you looking forward to the most? <gasps> Eating lunch in the cafeteria. Field trips. Writing stories. Playing on the big kids playground. Recess and making new friends. Wow, Mrs. Popinski says, you're going to be fantastic first graders, I can just tell. She looks at the clock and stands up. Okay, class, it's time. We put on the funny flat hats that we made out of poster board and yarn, and we make sure our faces are clean. Then we line up and we walk down the hall to the auditorium. I peek over Mason's shoulder and see a crowd. People pointing cameras at the stage and little brothers and sisters squirming on laps. Oh, I see mommy and daddy and grandma and grandpa and Aunt Dee. This afternoon, they're going to take me out for ice cream and I can order whatever I want.
Mr. Meyer starts playing a serious song on the piano and it makes me want to cry. It makes me want to march. It makes me want to stand up straight and tall. This is it. I'm walking onto the stage. <laughs> Got all these kids singing. I'm reciting our ABC farewell poem without making any mistakes. I'm singing zippity doo dah and clapping in all the right places. I'm shaking hands with the principal. We sing zippity doo dah too, don't we? Kindergarten is over. <laughs> Got all those happy kids. I did it. First grade, here I come. Did you like that story? I love that story. It's one of my favorite ones and I always like to read it this time of year when we're at school. So you guys get a video of it, but you can watch it as many times as you want. That's the great thing about videos. All right, guys, don't forget to send me your favorite food picture. Bye.